So this is the cartoonist, um, and it is a piece of software that we're designing in the News Games project. And the News Games project is to look at games that can be used for journalism. And one of the problems with games when you want to use them in journalism is that they are expensive, they take a lot of time, um, they take a lot of effort that, and skills that maybe journalists don't necessarily have on hand. You know, you don't have time to learn to program, you don't have time to, or the money to hire a freelancer to, to try something new, to create a feature. So what we've done is we've created this software called The Cartoonist, uh, which is in development, which will help ease the process of video game creation for journalism. And the idea is all you have to do is enter in actors that are in the story, be they people or abstract concepts. You could put a building name in it and it would put a building in it. And then you tie them together with verbs that are the relationships. So somebody might attack somebody, somebody might uh, support someone else, someone might help foster something to grow, someone might provide financial support for it. And as the journalist, all you do is enter in these actors and these relationships, and then you click a button, and then our system knows to take those verbs and figure out what game mechanics map to them, and then put something on screen and says, okay, here's a game that's supposed to be about what you just told me it is. And if you don't like it, you can press a button and try it again uh, until you find something that you do like that does accurately represent the story that you're going for. Um, and then you can add your graphics to it, be it from the library that we'll provide or whether you want to upload your own. And then you can publish it to your website and it'll have a title and a tagline, some sort of description. It'll give, tell you the, the you know, what you're going to need to do to play, click the button, move the mouse, etc. Um, and then your readers in 10 to 15 to 20 seconds and just like sort of a bite-sized amount of information will be able to play the game and get some understanding of the story. Well, the, we're working on it until the end of next spring semester. Um, and one of the things that we're doing is we're partnering with uh, news organizations to have them be our test markets, to give this to journalists, to get feedback on it, um, and so that they can put it in their you know, news organizations and, and see what the response is from their readers. Um, and our project is supported by the Knight Foundation, so when we're finished with it, we just get to put it out in the world and say anyone can use this, it's free for anybody. Uh, we'll have a website where people can go to make games, um, but anyone can modify it however they want to and, and use it you know, in their own organization however they need. So we're hoping that by doing that, there'll be a, a lot of adoptance between, uh, among different news organizations. Yes, so News Games Journalism at Play, which was co-authored between myself, um, our advisor Ian Bogust, and Simon Ferrari, uh, is a, a, a book about the different types of news games that we're able to identify. So in our project, the first thing we did with the, the many students who have joined us over the different semesters is go out in the world and find examples of these games. Um, things that may be really familiar, they may be game, very, very game-like. You're like, oh yeah, this looks like Donkey Kong, or this looks like Space Invaders. And then other things that may not look like games to you. So we wrote a lot about infographics um, and the way that those have game-like qualities to them that are not necessarily games. And so we wrote about these different genres, current events games, documentary games, infographics, platforms for creating these games, and identified you know, what worked and what didn't work, what we felt were strong examples, and, and where things fell apart. Um, but basically, we wanted to champion the idea that video games are useful uh, for journalism. So this is a game uh, you play as a rich man, and you're trying to grow your financial fortune. And you can see I'm shooting dollar signs at my fortune that's here in the middle, my big sack of money, and I'm trying to dodge the IRS at the same time <laughs> that's great. and grow my wealth even larger. Um, and if the IRS catches me, I disappear from the screen and, and that would be my game over.